can't get in this car without eating one of these. Do you think they've gone off yet? I've transferred them. They're getting a bit slow. Oh! By the way, hi everyone. By the way, hi. I've just been having a cry. Yeah, we just had to just delay. That's why I look like this. <laughs> get over it! No, the reason she actually looks this pale is because she doesn't moisturise. Moisturise and I'll make you tanned. <laughs> Moisturise with any tanning lotion, babe. If you want to be like the girls, you must get on the tanning lotion. I know. I don't know why I'm so adverse to it. I think because I don't moisturise, my skin's a little bit. It re repels lotions and potions. You've just made that up. You've just, that is actually. No, 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 no babe, because my skin's a bit scaly, a bit dry. So then when I try and put like a gradual tanner on, it just kind of sticks and it like. It just like falls off. Because that's my. Like, ah! Water. I'm honestly nearly dribbling from just one of them. What? So beautiful. one more. Okay, well, we must, well, let's ask this company for gifting. Hold on. Gaston Lago. <laughs> <laughs> Party wafers cacao, babe. I bet you I can all them for you on Amazon. I transferred them from the BMW. By the way, we're back in the shit. Um, I'm actually really happy to be back. Why? I feel closer to you. That's true. We were like this before. So far away. Yeah, true. I do miss having a hot bum. And I miss the little middle console. Yeah, it's, it's actually little... quite annoying here because you've got it's so no, dumb, yeah. I know. What are these going to do? I don't know. And also, the pasta jar's back. That's the problem with being in here. Is the fucking pasta jar. No, listen, you've got a little bit too big for your boots. I know, I have. You've Babe, got a little bit used to Meryl. I agree. I agree. I have got too big for my boots. I and we're back in the German Audi. What's his name? Bring Hans. us back down to earth. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Zim Zimmer. Zim 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 Zimmer Bimmer Bimmer. What's that song? Zim Zimmer, you want to get the keys to my Bimmer. Zim Zimmer. <laughs> is that Idris Elba? What is that? I think that might be a rapper. I think that's a rapper. Do you know that Idris Elba does like all these different things? He's DJ like a, Driz. He's a rapper. He's an actor. He's a DJ. I mean, he's a man. <laughs> he's a father. <laughs> he's a wife. He's probably great in the sack. No, he must be good in the sack. <sighs> what did you want to tell me then? It's how sad I am, really. Guys, we just had a really, really big cry, actually. One thing I've learned from my cry today, breakups aren't linear. Up, down, twist, turn. Up, down, twist, turn. I've had quite a week, to be fair. It's like that, why? Why have I had a week? Yeah. Well, on Monday... Oh, my God! Sorry! <laughs> well, on Monday, I was mugged. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Would you... I was trying to think of the correct term, because mugging felt dramatic, but it felt like a mugging. Maybe it's mugged. Okay, well, sorry, really oh, see, this is how, like, I have no sense of time and space. That feels to me like last week. Yeah, no, it does actually feel like last what week because it's been such a long week. Babe, and I know why you messaged me because it was the evening. I thought, oh, if it was six in the morning, she would have messaged Yeah, I, well, like, it's perfect. I've got a bookend. <laughs> I was like, well, Holes is awake in the morning because I knew by the time that I got around to doing an Uber, Uber she'd, she'd be, be fast asleep. asleep. Yeah, of course, yeah. And I thought, brilliant, well, I'll be awake, so that's great. No, it is mugging, babe. You got brutally mugged. Oh, I didn't. No one hit me, thank God. Well, they could have gone, Give me your phone with a knife. I actually know quite a lot of people who've that happen to. It's very scary. So should I tell you the full story? Tell. I okay. went all the way to bloody Captain to see my gorgeous friends. Where is so Captain? I went. Do you know what I mean? Where's Captain? Like, where is Captain? Where's Captain? Don't Does know. Still don't know. Does it even have? It's Hackney. Hackney Wick. I'm sorry. I'm Hackney really Central. Sorry. I take real issue. Sorry. It took me seventy three minutes to get there. Yeah, so Ruby and Billy live in I this mean, amazing flat. I mean, you obviously flat. might as well live in fucking Edinburgh. Babe, you're going to die at this story. Go on. It, you couldn't have written it. Right, so we never get a chance to get together. There's six of us that went to drama school together, and you know one of those groups where everyone's here, there, everywhere, yeah. we never get a date. The best date we could get for a Christmas get-together was a Monday night. For me, hell on earth. I'm teaching the next morning. I was like, this is going to be horrendous, but I love them, and I wanted to be there, so I was like, I'm going. 73 minutes. You've just put that in. I know, but I'm feeling like you're going to wind me, because I too loudly. No, I don't mind. More th annoying things in my life at the moment, okay. so you're fine. Okay. <coughs> oh, like oh, this calf. Oh, I, that's why I forgot. Right. No, with the vitamins. When we come back, yes, babe. We're no. going straight upstairs. Yes. No. Yes. I shan't. I will, the vitamins. I will open your mouth and force it down your throat, babe. I will <laughs> insert a needle into your veins if I must. Wow. <laughs> vitamin C. <laughs> wow. The good but stuff. Listen, if you took it every day, babe, you would never get sick. Yes. Go on, do <laughs> your song and dance, <laughs> whatever you want. No, you're so boring. Another thing, babe. It's I another thing. You every single time you get sick until you do it, okay? Perhaps, like my dad has. <laughs> okay. He has one of those pill boxes, and perhaps at the start of the month I could put my my contraceptive pit, all my oh, things in each thing. day, yeah. and I could open it up, and all I have to do is go. 
hatchback. Good idea. Okay. Okay. I'll arrange that. Good. Anyway, I get to Hackney Wick. I've made the journey. I've actually had quite a nice time. I spent the whole train journey editing my vlogmas. I read a bit of my book. I get to Hackney Central. I, I mean, think 73 minutes. You could fucking write a feature film. Do you know what I mean? I almost did. Honestly, I was like, really? This is hell on earth. But anyway, I was too, too, too to ling along. I was just walking, head in the clouds, really. And then I looked around and I thought, never been to these ends before. Don't know if I'm safe. Looked at the map and I had to walk through like a tiny little park to get over to their road where the flat was. I would never, oh, I don't know what came over me. Why did you walk through the park? No, I didn't. I didn't. But prior to walking through the park or thinking about walking through the park, I sent a text in our group chat being like, don't know these ends. Can I walk through this park? Rube replied, hilarious now. Yeah, babe, completely safe. No worries. Naomi replied like, babe, I'm literally two minutes behind you. Just wait there and I'll meet you and we'll walk together. And I was like, great, perfect, way safer. So I'm stood on the side of the road. I'm on my phone oh, texting Naomi. No. He comes, this guy, full balaclava, full black on a bike that has like really big thick wheels like a big electric bike comes up onto the pavement swipes it from my hand literally just so fucking fast like i didn't even see him anyway he then swerves into the road a car's coming almost hits him he flies off his bike now's your chance to that's what i thought phone. but i'm frozen solid oh, i'm yeah. frozen like a absolute wet wipe in the wind didn't know what to do i then got a bit of gumption and i thought walk towards the bike i don't know what i thought i was gonna do like pick up the bike i don't know like he was <laughs> gathering on the floor gathering himself because I didn't want to run into the road and so I couldn't see my phone. Um. So I didn't know where he'd put it. So anyway, I just thought, go to the bike. So I went to the bike. Anyway, he moved like an absolute ninja. I've never seen someone move so fast from the floor being knocked off his bike straight back onto the bike. And I'm like, are you really going to take my fucking phone? Then he just gets on the bike, swerves away. Then this crazy Irish man doing um, Tai Chi just on the pavement in, at 6pm. Don't know what he was doing. He goes, I'll get him. And then he's trying to he's trying to get him. This guy, he's trying to get the bike and the bike just swims past and nearly knocks him over. He runs over to me he goes I wasn't sure if he had your phone but if he had I'd have kicked him down dead I was like no so you don't even know if he's got the phone no yeah, I think he's got the phone did, did you he's see got it on the, the phone did you see it get crushed by no he, he turned he turned it off never turned it back on no I know babe I've been checking yeah. I'm so thick all week I'm like Why where is she yeah. I know so anyway I got there and thank god Naomi found me so I was what if it, sh it shakes you you feel no, no, a bit no. shaken and that's the thing is that as I just said you think oh just run to the bike in the moment you are paralyzed pa I was I was yeah. so useless anyway Naomi got me to Ruby and Bill's, thank God. And then I'm logged into Instagram on Naomi's phone so that I could message you, Holly, like do all the shutting down of all the things. Then I honestly had the best night ever. Ever, ever, ever. Good. It was so, so fun. Rube did a round of, for everyone, Mastermind, where you pick your subject, your specialist subject, and we all sat in the what hot seat. Dun, 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 dun. I actually did love Actually. Good. Epic film. Okay. And I know it from start to finish. Yeah, inside okay. Out. But if I asked you the name of a character, would you know it? I don't know what yeah. the name of any character. Kira Knightley is what she called. Julie. And her husband? Matt. You just made that up. I think the one the other one's called Matt. It's so weird. I could not tell Isn't you. Isn't this a whole thing though that Richard Curtis actually all of the characters are so two dimensional and he like laughs about it now. So no one really knows like what Julie does like Kira Knightley does for work. No one really knows like what his name is, the guy that always wears a cardigan. Like I think there are loads of plot holes that he just doesn't care about. Got it. So anyway. Anyway, then that happened. The gorgeous Ali Mike, saviour of my life, ordered me an Uber, got me all the way home. So I was a bit like, Jesus Christ, if no, something babe, I happens really on panicking. that train. Yeah, horrible. About, no, I was panicking about you in the Uber. Bro was like, can we go to bed now? I was like, no! No! What I no, thought, babe, I, was trapping I won't you all the way. say to him, You're, it's not you. I haven't got my no, phone or it's not me, because no, I, I was like, okay, you could I, just I knew, I knew rape you me or go the wrong way. I knew you wouldn't. And I was so fearful then of the world, because no, I, I was like, I've just been mugged! Babe, I was watching, you should have seen me. I was so late, wasn't it? It was only like quarter to midnight. I was watching it every single time and then he would like only move a bit in two minutes and I thought, nope, that's quicker to get down that road. Why is he so slow? Why is he moving so slowly? He was driving quite slowly. Get your gears up, mister. Yeah, I was a bit sleep. I was in and out of consciousness, I think. Got home, then I had to teach spin the next morning. How did you get on the tube? I uh, found my, that was a nightmare. So the next morning I drove, to be fair, to spin. Okay. I couldn't find my physical card anywhere. I couldn't tell you any of those. So I had car. to ring Lloyd's, cancel my card. Then I found my Monzo. Didn't know how much was on it. It was just trigger happy, just hoping for the best. Then anyway, I basically went to Vodafone. They gave me a replacement sim. And I found this in my drawer, which is actually Thank my ex-boyfriend's old phone. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Colin. Sorry, Colin. I haven't told you any of this yet. Um, I've been using your phone. Sorry. Actually, both of them. Yeah, all of and your other phone that I was my actual phone I was using is now in the hands of a criminal. So sorry. <laughs> I owe you two phones. Turns out my insurance I've been paying for every month. I hadn't upgraded to the phone that I actually was using. And they, I've done that before. Then what else has gone wrong? Oh, and then yesterday I went to Covent Garden to teach. Yeah. Had one person in my spin. 
One person in your class? That's one person at lunch and he wanted to do it, so I had to teach him. So selfish and then when they do that. You are gonna die. Go on. So, I know my Alexa's been turning herself on every now and again. That thing's bugged. You mu babe, that thing is bugged. It's bugged. I've changed my Spotify password about three times. Anyway, last night, Covent Garden, 6.30. Not a full class, actually, it was quite quiet. In the second track, which is your rollout, you've done your warm up and then you go into your rollout, boom, Spotify hacked, piano music. During a live class. That's not hacked, that's an angel. What? Babe. Babe. Three times it happened. That's not an angel. They're fucking with in me. I'm trying to teach a class. Three times. What was the music? It was like a weird no, piano song. Go, no, go and look at it right now. I don't have Spotify on this trap phone. Same song? Yeah. No, babe, I'm sorry to be really witchy and weird. No, babe, babe. Someone's hacked me. Why would the angel fuck me like that? It was so embarrassing. No, because they're trying to send you a message. Go and find out what the name of the song was. What? Stop teaching spin because they weren't, you know, getting me good reviews, class pass reviews. It was so embarrassing. Go and find out. And then the it was mortifying was. because I was so scared it was gonna happen again so the whole class I was really shaky press the intro button halfway through I had a horrible time no, then babe I'm telling you they are well I didn't much very appreciate the angel's message babe babe bite me bitch awful no, I don't want that. Why? Okay, maybe. Because I'm a bit stale. Just one more. Oh, how are you so eating that? Because they're so delicious in the middle. Go buy some new ones. Come, come on, man. Board. Come on, man. Is that the end of my bad week? No, I woke up this Sorry. morning. Those are still quite nice. Set me one. Absolutely horrendous. Horrendous? Horrific. How lovely. <laughs> I wanted a, a good word beginning with H, but I couldn't think of one. Heavenly! <laughs> like the angels. Then I woke up this morning at five to go and teach my 6.30. One person booked in, didn't come. Babe, I'm sorry, what is that shift? Didn't come! I think you should start sending foot pics. And then I had a breakdown today because I'm no longer with my boyfriend. And that hit me like a ton of bricks, as it sometimes does. The breakups are like, you know those graphs that are like, this is what you think success looks like, and this is what it yeah. is. It's the same. <laughs> but that's the same for everything in life. That's what you think it's like. I saw it, it's like this, up, down, left, right. And you just Under had a bit- Under over Pepsi Cola. We just had a bit of downturn today. How's your week then? Highly stressful. You are a bit stressed, aren't you? A bit stressy what head. What day is it today? Stress head. What else was stressful this week? Well, my whole laptop broke. So I spent like two and a half hours yesterday on the phone to stupid Oh yeah, cool, Apple. so you did. No, that is really stressful. I hate things like that. The thing is, I know it will get fixed, but it's time and effort and it's just like stressful when everything's yeah, lost. Yeah, exactly. Forgot what rules looked like. Couldn't tell you what. Oh, you've had loads of date nights, haven't you? Last weekend, yeah, babe, but today's Thursday. I haven't seen him since. I honestly could not tell you if he's shaved since Monday. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, Seriously. ships in the night. Yeah, but this is what I mean. I don't really mind that because we did have one day together. Yeah. Great. We had Good, a lovely, time. lovely time. Yeah. No, it's fine. I don't, I'm not like, I'm not stressed about one it. More. One more. One more. Then we must get a hot chalk, I think. Oh, tell me what you forgot to bring. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Sorry. It's really bad of me because it's no longer Christmas, but I totally forgot. Sorry, can we Sorry, talk Sam. about your epic no. Oh yeah. Wait, hide my nunch. And your horrible, horrible white pasty legs. They're good, aren't they? Well, babe. Look how big my feet are, guys. I'm not ashamed. These are actually a bit big. In an ideal world, have a seven and a half because they slip quite a lot. So they look really good on you because you've Thanks, got- babe. Because like, I've got big feet. No, yeah. Because I've got sturdy ankles. I was going to say chunky Skinny ankles, ankles don't yeah. look good. I tried those on and honestly, I look like, like a ridiculous. Clown. Yeah. yeah. So, Sam, who Who's comes Sam? to my spin? Sam, who lent us his... That's Harry. You get them confused all at the time. Are they both gay? I've never asked. I think so. Harry is. Harry never comments on our videos. Sam always... I know Sam. Sam where? You know Sam. Yeah, you know Sam. Oh my God, shut your actual mouth. No! One for me. Wait, why have you done this? This is so nice. Sorry, I forgot. I don't know where I put it. Babe, no, Sam. Is this from Sam? I am well, this Back. is... Baby. <laughs> it's from Sam. I no. thought maybe it'd be nicer in the new year. Little, little surprise gift. Why have you done this? This is very kind. You I don't know, and I was a bit flustered when he gave it to me because I was like, oh my god, babe, don't do that. Babe, maybe you could send him a minge pick or a foot pick or something. To he say doesn't thanks. want a minge pick. Sam would be mortified. Is he gay? Oh yeah, of course he's gay. Sorry, I've met his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might be bi. <laughs> I've met his boyfriend, so yeah. Oh my god, I hope. Oh, wait, don't do it. It would be edible. Really good news. Oh, this is so good. Absolutely delicious. Babe, thank you so much. You really don't need to do this, guys. No, it's so sweet. Wait, guys, actually... <laughs> as if this happens all the time. I'll love him when Wait, I send Sam, him a message. Sam, love you so much. How sweet. He didn't really need to do that. He's a student. 
how gorgeous. I actually feel quite that that's actually adorable that you did. Oh, and that. also, he really does like. I obviously, you know, give him my heart, soul, and sweat every Wednesday. But he did say he really loves you, and he feels like we have changed his life. This and has I been changing my say, life. Wow. Because who knew? Hold it up. I'll send a picture. Bit late. Sorry, love him. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What, on your three megapixel phone? Yeah, no, it actually makes you look better, really. Sam, thank you. you really thank you, Sam. We love that. you. I actually really love you. No, babe, do you know what he does say? What? You must come to spin one time. Stop bullying me. Everyone. You must say hello and you must just come because it's all going to kill you to climb a hill. Do you, you know, know what will? Tap do you know what will kill me? You going, Ali Mac, put the gears <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Let's go get a hot chockey. I'm so cold in this car. My bum's so yeah, cold. Yeah, I hate this car. This horrible and we car. also can't drive anywhere. Like, we can only drive, like, outside the congestion zone. Boring. So. Oh, yeah, because we've had free willy. Yeah, we've really I had forgot. Got Go the engine? Let's find her. Whoa. Jesus. God, this is not, not an engine. Did you just hear that? Yeah. It's just because your brakes are a bit, like, sad. It happens to mine all the time. They'll just be a bit freezy cold. No, it's fine. It's fine. It is. <laughs> mine does that all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, Because you fine. haven't driven it. It doesn't sound great, does it? No, she's a little bit rusty. She's really reminding us what we've missed. Do you really think that's fine? What? The, the sound that the brake makes. Yeah, my car does that. Okay, fine. He's telling us that we forgot about him and so now he's paying us back. Yeah. Sorry, Hans. We did. We did forget about you. Because to be honest with you, Meryl was so much sexier, cooler and better. I'm honest with you. Oh, it's so hard, isn't it? But it's the truth. But, you know, you've got to stay grounded, girls. And if we need to be reminded of where we came from, then we the must get back in the Audi. <laughs> yeah. Babe. Yeah? What are your New Year's resolutions? Okay. God. I actually hate New Year's resolutions. Do you? Because you're such a resolution. You're, I am. She's very, I like, like a new beginning. Yeah, and she likes, like, everything is, like, about timing with her. Like, yes. it's like, okay, now there's a new season. It's exactly or, that. Like, and it has to be, I can't do anything in the middle yeah. of anything. And I feel like 2023 toward the end was, like, really kicking me in the gut. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm happy this year to turn the leaf and to start afresh. I don't believe in like, tomorrow it all has to change. Tomorrow yeah. I have to start, tomorrow's the day. Diet tomorrow, like I don't really believe in any of that. No, it's but just I like do... a fresh energy. Yes, I believe in like fresh intention. I prefer to set intention than resolution actually. Like I intend to, I would like to run a half marathon. Okay. So that's on the list really out of my comfort zone. I hate running, but something I, I know I can do. I love my mind running to. and I actually think running a half marathon. I... The thing is about running though, I think, I mean, for me, for example, I always used to say in my life, I'm going to run a marathon. The point of running for me is to feel free. And I think if you, for me, yeah. doing those sorts of things would only make it another goal that I have yeah, to yeah, hit. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. want to do that. Not no. saying that you like- No, 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 I get that. it. No, I totally get it. I would never run a marathon. Like I think a half is like I always kind of doable. Listen, if someone I know got cancer, sure I'd do it for them. But otherwise, why? <sighs> I'd rather jump out of a plane for them. Babe, to be honest with you, that's not that difficult. I've done it. It's not that hard. You can do what it. What about climbing Kilimanjaro? Oh yeah, I'd like Kilimanjaro. to do that. Kilimanjaro. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I'd really like. There's to a do zebra that. crossing right there. Why wouldn't you use it? You turn, babe. Silly little prick. You turn. <laughs> Are you gonna get a Gales one then? No, I don't think I want a hot chocolate anymore. What do you want? A matcha. Oh, disabled. We're not disabled. Heart. She's heartbroken. My heart's that... broken. Does that count? Does that count? Why would you park like that, you selfish little prick? There, babe, 55 parking spaces. I don't like parking on that side of the road. Why? I don't know why, I've just always hated it. That's what? my dream house. Wow. Really? That one. Do you think they have a garden? And there's one up there. That's flats at the moment. That's my dream, to buy the whole thing and make it one big, big fat house. Have you told Raw that? Yeah, he knows. That one and the one down there, 52. It's two houses, massive houses joined and I want to buy them both and make them one big house. It's my dream house. In Clapham? Yeah, because I think Clapham is the best of both worlds. I would never want to live in like Central, obviously. obviously. But I also can't, I don't- I can't believe people actually live in Central. I actually don't think, the more I get older, the more I realise, I don't think I could ever really live in the countryside. I think I'm really? You go wild. I love, like on Sunday, Raw mm. and I just like, we're like, okay, let's go and do this. Yeah. And you can just do it. Yeah. There is so much spontaneity. Yeah, 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 I yeah. I don't really like to be like, yeah, in three weeks I'll go for dinner at this mm. restaurant. Because what if I wake up that day and think, oh, fuck that, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I think I could live forever in Hampstead. Do you know where I quite like? Marlow. That's right about where I live. Very pretty you know Marlow, Marlo, isn't it? How do you know Marlow? I know Marlo. Marlo's really nice. Marlo's again, really nice. Nothing to do. Yeah, but half an hour into town if you wanted. This is the thing though, I think it really also depends on what you do for a living. Mm. Because if you pray to God, like God willing, we're busy and we have to be here, there, everywhere. I don't think it's... No, I want to be like Vanessa 
Vanessa Feltz. Where does she live? She always gets on a limo bike. You can't get on a limo bike from Marlow into no, central you London. Babe! Babe! No, not They talk. get limo bikes across the country. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Every single time you have to go to Hopefully work. Hopefully I'll be a fit driver who straddle on. Don't get me wrong, I would do it if I could have a driver every day who would ferry me backwards and You're forwards. not driving the limo bike. No, I don't want to get on a bike. I want to get in like basically like a beefed out Zim Zimmer Sprinter. I the, listen I to this country that. song. Yeah. New country music is like kind of storytelling. And it's this one about this girl is being abused by her boyfriend, like being knocked around. And anyway, this random guy from the bar sees her with all these like bruises and looking a bit like, you know, she calls them whiskey scars. He basically follows her home, this guy, goes in, shoots the boyfriend, and then he goes, Sorry, what does this have to do with limo bikes? And then he goes, get in the truck. And she goes, I knew I'd never been hit again when he said get in the truck. And this is all in a song. All in a song. Wow. And sometimes I think I'd like someone to come to my house every morning and go, get in the truck. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> so like if I have a driver, I wouldn't want him to have a bumped out Zimmer. I'd want him to have a truck. Oh, a truck. Okay. I know what you mean. <laughs> the trucks where it's like long in the back. Yes. Get in the so, truck. Yeah. And you're like bouncing on the suspension. And, babe, and you'd be so, if it was an open one, you'd arrive to work and your hair would be really blowy yeah. blowy. I mean, there's something I find very attractive about, and I know it's wrong as like, you know, a modern day feminist, but there's something very attractive about, you know, a butch man in plaid. I just find a no, truck. I don't think that's, I don't think that's I anti-feminist. I just find it a bit sexy. Oh, I don't think that's anti-feminist. I think that's really normal. I think it's just really stereotypical, I suppose. Again, I think it would be sexy and then you would have it and you think, oh, whatever. It's very damsel in distress, yeah. isn't it? Get in the truck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer like a posh. You prefer like a no, um, shuffle. <laughs> Babe! That is that is, no, I, that is the most offensive thing you've ever said. Babe, fuck no, actually fuck. Oh, put your fist up here, mum. <laughs> that is so fucking rude. How no, no my fist I up actually my bum. Can still hear this. Are you for real? Shuffles and listen. A shuffle in a Chelsea tractor. I actually will hit you, babe. <laughs> I will take my fist to your face. Are you What do you like, Ralph Lauren? A barber. Are you even a barber? When Ralph puts a barber on, I think, God, are we in the middle of the countryside? No, babe. No, we're not, Thrall. Is really? he not paying a shuffle? I like. Would you not buy him one for Christmas? Babe, no. Are the races? No, Raw, can I tell you? Raw, <laughs> it's actually quite anti posh. A navy one, not a green one. Are you, babe, are you actually <laughs> fucking on crack cocaine? Are you actually joking me? A shuffle, babe. That's what <laughs> farmers, aristocrats, and like King Charles wears when he goes out on his horse. Fuck you. <laughs> I will not be put in that same category. Also, the boys who wear shuffles, <laughs> they fall like this and they really, 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 really move their mouth sideways. They never, ever, ever move their mouth sideways. It's only like this. <laughs> and it's really, really, really. And they have their big fat chubby fingers and they get their chubby fingers stuffed into their shiglet rings and they've got their nice fat cigars and they sit by the fire in their shuffles and they've got their tweed trousers on <laughs> and they say, Butler, Mister, bring me a, bring me a gin and tonic. Only, only the finest gin, please. None of that Bombay sapphire shite. Don't you dare look at me with that mirror. <laughs> only the Bollinger. Only the Bollinger. Don't look at me with the mirror. Don't. Put that away! Do you know it's Moet? I don't care, babe. <laughs> Shuffle. You shuff have to say the tea. Shuffles don't drink Moet. They, Moet, Moet. They only drink Bolly. <laughs> Bolly or Paul Roger. Don't call it Bolly! Paul Roger. <laughs> Who's Paul Roger? And they will only have mold and sea salt if you season their food with anything. I do. I'm with them on that. I like a mold and sea. God, you say so slippy, slip right off your bloods here. <laughs> I like a mold and sea salt. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, cough. Yeah, bit too much you, fun and festivities for me, I'd say. That's what you deserve for suggesting that I would ever marry a shuffle. That is highly offensive. So, you, But you like a shirt. I just meant smart. No, can I tell you what I quite like? A city banker banker. Yeah, posh you do, overcoat. you do. That's my vibe. The navy overcoat. Because that's a different vibe, babe. It shuffles is different, sorry. are like tractors and wellies and, sure, you know, Le Chameaux yeah. and tweed. The hell's a Le Chameau? You know those posh wellies? Like a hunter? No, babe, those are the... If you showed a shuffle a hunter, they would scream and kick and shout and say, Get out of my house! <laughs> <laughs> Those are only worth a hundred pounds. Mine are worth five. <laughs> Lush and Rose, babe. Five, six hundred quid and a pair of wellies. No, but I like the banker wanker vibe. I really actually do like that. I find them really sexy. And they're tight shirts. Yeah. And they, you know, they're like all slicked and they smell good. And they like, you know, that's Oh, it's my worst nightmare. nightmare. One of them came up to me in a bar. I'd be like, sorry, sir. You all have gone in the wrong direction. But don't get me wrong. If they're slimy, I would still hate them. I'm just yeah, of course. Visually. visually. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is like a cowboy. 
Yeah. Is it actually though? Yeah, to be fair, I could also be swayed by. No, or I really like, and I haven't been with one in a while, an indie boy. A what? An indie boy. Babe! I'm sorry. Arty, again. open shirt, sorry. little tee underneath, rolled up jeans, one of those little hats, like a, like a burglar hat. The condom. Rolling half, blends. Half a condom. Babe, that. Rollies. Still, uh, baby. Writing poetry for me. We're not 21 anymore. Is that still seriously you'd be attracted? If someone like that walked up to me, I'd say, turn around. I'm honestly, I'm breaking out in hives looking at you. I'd be like... I find it offensive that you're trying to be so indie and cool and individual. Where should we go and get naked? Or like an actor, like, like just like a man with a bit of movement, you know? I hate stiffness. I just like a little bit of swing and yeah, sway in the hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I like right now is myself and no one else coming into this this space. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about you know in theory and just what they look like. We're not you know with them. No, they're not coming near us. As soon as they we're not talk talking to them. No, disgusting. Yeah, fine. Because that is different. I can imagine you liking like a bit of a two-piece tracky. Do you like that sometimes? Never. A posh tracky. Don't even like a posh tracky. I want I one of those like picante the city hoodies. Wanker. Not really wanky. No, it's fine. They're so cool. I'll let you pass on that. They're so spenny. I know. Sorry, Gay. the only other one I could go is like basically a rapper. Oh, sure. Like dripping, like so dripping that it's like dumb. Wow. Like, you know how Stormzy is like, he's wearing chains around his neck that drip, work. Drip, drip, drip. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I couldn't be with that person forever, but I do initially find that really sexy when you're like just like. You're like a magpie and you see all the gold and you're like, yeah, yeah go on then. But you've got to be sexy AF and everything's got to be style. Our mind's really style related. Yeah, They've yeah. They've got to be yeah. really well put together. Even a cowboy, like, if it was a well put together cowboy, I'd be really attracted to him. I like it. He just can't be like messy, you know? Yeah. I don't like the rough and tumble. I like it to be neat. I think I like rough and tumble. Yeah, I think so I too. think I really like rough around the edges. I think so too. I think neat makes me feel a bit panicky. Why are you hanging out with me all the time? Well, Some is. mornings when you rock up looking perfect, I think, oh, panic. My house isn't neat though. No, it's an absolute sty. It's weird actually. You know, but baby, you've just got too much stuff. I will be like that for the rest of my life. You though. need to get a bit more scandy. My mum did a clear out and I went home and I was like, where is all the stuff? I feel so unnerved if there's too much empty. I don't know what it is. I've always <laughs> been like that. I have to have shit everywhere. Yeah. That's why you're I'm... like a little, like, you know that old lady that they go and yes! watch the new Mary like Poppins? Order. Yeah. Did you watch the new Mary Poppins? With Emily Blunt. With Emily Blunt. Yeah, I loved it. When they go and see Emma Thompson, she's in the upside down lady. That's you. That's me. Surrounded by all that shite yeah. that's doing nothing for you. I love it. You you love it. I love it. Like even like around her bed. A, there's a hundred pillows on the bed, so you can't get on the bed. All her like shoes and makeup and bags all cover come up to the bed. Like you're not, you don't even have space. Your bedside table's covered in bits. Even when I move into a big fat house, <coughs> there will be shit everywhere. I can't live. Oh. This is so, what's so weird that if you just met me and you didn't come into my house, you think, oh my gosh, she got all her shit together. Yeah. I would think you were like white Kimmy K vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. White, clean, crisp, no mess. No, no. Not you. No, no. Can we get a hot chocolate and then yeah. do our New Year's resolutions? Yeah. Why is January such a depressing month? I hate January. I actually oh. don't know that I do. It's because I do like new beginnings. I like the fact that we all get a bit more insular and everyone kind of takes time and no one really asks to like hang really? out or spend much. Everyone's just like, we're just taking our time back. Little breather. Be out again in March. I'm ready by March. I feel like in January you have a lot of impetus to do things. Even if that doesn't last long. There yeah. is like a surge of yeah. feeling like, now is my chance to yeah. seize the day. Okay, go on, give me your New Year's resolutions then. Okay. Oh, she's written them down. Honestly, today, I thought one of them's got to be not working three million jobs all the time because I can't do it anymore. Because you're feeling a bit stressed today, weren't you? Yeah, babe. Yeah, I've written that on we mine, We both actually. have our days like that where we're just like, I can't do this. Yeah, because everything, the plate feels too full. This sounds really moany. I'm, I'm just... so moany at the moment. Don't worry about it. Go for it. No, really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Moaning, no, Myrtle. Um, it's okay. I'm letting you have your moaning, your moaning period. What I wanted to say to you because I was thinking about this in the shower last night. Actually, it kind of came out of nowhere. Love Raw, that. idiot, said he's been using his really expensive aftershave only like, he does like one spray every month and I was like, life is for living. One spray a month? Yeah, because he like, I don't want to waste it. I'm saving it. And I said to him, what the hell are you saving it for? You could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Precisely. And then I thought, actually. And you will smell horrible. And then you'll have to be buried in your BO rather than in your Tom Ford at Goody Palm or whatever it is. Well, aftershave doesn't really do BO, does it? It masks it, babe. Well, yeah. Anyway, Covers a lot of sins. I then was just thinking life is for the living. I think that's something that we all have to remember that life is for the living. And I, know we've both been really in the mood. Because like the this time of year, it's just stressful. It's so busy. Mm. And then I thought, listen, would you rather be moaning about the fact you've got too much to do or be where you were a year ago with nothing to do? Yeah. Make? And do you know what I've written on my whiteboard in my office? What? One day you'll wish you were this busy doing the things you want to do. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> 
No! Babe, suck it back in. No, go on. Go on. We must put up a I must have a tissue. We must put up a privacy screen. <laughs> we must put up a privacy screen right now. She's just giving birth through her nostril. <laughs> Babe. She's not well. Babe. This girl is not well. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you must have a tissue! Baby, influencers don't stop! <laughs> I can't even suck it up, it's so big, babe! No, you must, I'm gonna have to lick it! Are you serious? You don't have a. You can't <coughs> suck it up! I don't have a hanky and I can't suck it up! This one I Oh, Oh, I've hit a new low. I didn't think it was it's possible. Absolutely, is it? That is vulgar. Hey. Wow. I mean, listen, I what want, the hell is this? I want, that's our wrapping paper. Oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> I'm all for keeping it real, but that's a bit too. I think real. that might need to be cut. We all do it. <laughs> what was I saying? One day you'll wish you were this busy doing the things you want to do. Imagine when you're in a nursing home and you're not busy. Yeah. You're not doing any of the things you want to do. You're doing forced fun things that you don't want to do. Or even better, there was a time when you, you always wish... do this. You always make my quotes better. Go there, on, rewrite there, it. There was a time when you wished you were this busy. Yes, good. God, I look unwell. Well, I've been sobbing right. all day this time. Right. This is why I can't. Give me some of that. Yes. The cloth. Right, exactly. Actually. Everyone, no, this is really nice. Use this. This is new. What is it? Just oh. some concealer. Yeah, for my huge spot. What the hell do I do with this? Twist it. <laughs> Twist it? Yeah. Where's this from? Hourglass. You like Hourglass, oh, don't you? Like it's that your new... Look at that. Do you think I should get my lips tattooed? Oh, I was thinking the semi-permanent thing. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. I love it. I'll do it with you. this girl. Can we get day? a two for one, anyone? What's this? Concealer. Well, I must go and see that dentist. Message the girls now and say, listen. Frilly. <laughs> sure. As you're There's PA, a lot of things. Let me just do that. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Go on. Basically, what amount <laughs> Guys, of free shit is too much free shit? If anyone was worried or wondering, the emails are still none of my business. <laughs> I've been nowhere near them. Last night, she goes, me and babe, listen, I'm all over it, so don't worry about it. I did tell you I would hold the fort down. I did tell you that. You didn't really give it a time limit, did you? You're starting to wear thin. No, not at all. No? I'm all over it. I am actually all over it. No, so I know. Literally... Don't be too all over it. I'll never come back. I know. It's kind of minty. It's that colour's really nice. You could get your lips tattooed like that. That's what I'm thinking. I'll do it with you. I really like that. I think the girls are really good with it. Because it's natural. Well... The girl I saw, shade too dark in my opinion. Yeah, but babe, that's her mistake. Looked like she woke up with a full face you of red. Would, yeah, you won't. Who a Christmas do, Maybelline. Who would do that? Well, I'm that's what I thought. Sorry. Well, that's why. That's exactly what I thought. What you're looking for. for you. Okay, yeah, get that on. Good. Look oh, Christ. Ow. <laughs> babe, I'm so forceful. <laughs> you're such a forceful mountain. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Just show the world the face you want them to see, girls. Don't worry about what's underneath the cracks. The cracks shan't show. <laughs> Do you want me to get your big spot, yeah, the but... elephant in the room? <gasps> Fuck, little bitch. Yesterday we were on a call and she goes, oh, I thought that was just a smudge on my screen. I thought I will actually strangle I really you. Did. Your fucking I really did. Listen. Also, I told you I'm not coming for dinner tonight because I need to go to bed. You didn't tell me that. We're really near it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. When she doesn't want to do something, she'll ignore the message. <laughs> no, I'm thinking. I was thinking and I just made my mind up then. Oh, just now? Yeah, when I got so tired. Is that for the Vietnamese? Yeah. Because <laughs> I was thinking if she doesn't want to have dinner, I'll go get my nails done. What are you going to do? But babe, you've got actually, can you have to come in? Because there's loads of stuff for you to have a look at. If Gifting. I know, but... No, babe. Oh, okay, right, listen. We have to talk about this. Created a monster. Coming from the woman. I don't want to be an influencer. The primary purpose of influencers is to get free shit and to film themselves. And babe, we're doing one of them and you're desperate for the other. I'm desperate. So I just want to let you know. I'm des- I'm thirsty, 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 parched. Parched. There's not enough of it. And one day- I had a taste. One day you will look back I had a sip and you will wish that From the were... golden chalice. And now I want to gulp from the golden chalice. Yeah, you do. Tell me your resolution. 
hands. I just told you, quit my job. So I don't have Is to that it? Up. No. I'm more books, less phone at night. I'm really. What are you reading at the moment? I'm really bad at that. I'm listening to Lessons in Chemistry, which everyone spaffed their pants Was over. Was that a film? Did they make that into a film? Possibly. I don't know. I'm really realizing that I don't really love fiction that much. Yeah, you're more of like an Adam K. Yeah. Oh, that's my best book ever. Yeah. Or like, um, you're like Shoe Dog, the same. about Phil Knight, the founder of Nike. Yeah. I love those sorts of books. God, I'm such a fiction gal. Really? What about um? I can like How to Three Kill My women. Family. I loved that that book. Have you read Three Women? No. That is based on real women, and the author spent loads of years with these women, basically like finding out every intricate detail of their lives, and then wrote this book. And it is, epic. I read it twice back to back. Is it good to listen to? Because I think there are some books that are good to listen to. Oh, I think that depends on the narration, doesn't it? Yeah, true. Do you not read? I do, but I'm really. Re that's what I mean. I'm bad, and I have so much time listening. walking around. I might as well listen to yeah. stuff. Good. More journaling. Yeah. Because I think it's um. I good actually think it's quite funny as well to look back and think, God, I was absolutely off the fucking rocket then. We all have to see all the time. Consciousness checking twice a day. I'm really bad at that too. You haven't done that yet, have you? I have been doing it at night. That's one time I can't do it. It's just. If you need it in the day where you're frazzle mazzled. Yeah. Frazzle bedazzled. Set an alarm. Problem same time is, every day. The problem is I'm not doing the same thing every day, so that alarm will go off when I'm at work, and then I'll forget about it. Yeah, but you'll go. Sorry, she's got to pop to the loo. <laughs> Hi kids, I'm back. I think I just need to be a bit more present in my body. I think that's what I'm really feeling like at the moment. Because you're all up here. Yeah, and that's all me my whole life. I'm just like living you need in to my come own down head. Here. Yeah. Perhaps you should take your shoes off more. I put my feet in the grass. A little bit of grounding. This isn't a resolution, but I would really like to go on like a hippie retreat. I don't know. I am actually I look, in real life I'm the most unhippy hippie, but I think in my soul I am actually a bit hippie. Well you're a bit airy fairy. Like yeah. you believe in all the hippie shit. I totally believe like deeply believe in all yeah. the hippie shit. Yeah, I just don't practice being a hippie. But if I went but then maybe that's why you're so at war with yourself. Could be because you're trying to live this busy, could be commercialized because, no, life. What I've really learned about myself this year actually is that there are such distinct halves of me. Because the busy life is also quite like a really big part of me, mm. but it is always at war with the other <coughs> half. I don't have like I always have one foot in either camp. Yeah, and so finding the balance between that is really well, and hard. also you're good at being busy. Like you do you're busy doing nothing yeah nothing you make mountains out of molehills all the time because you do half of everything or all of yeah. something and then you stop it to do another thing so you actually you never have downtime actually no. apart from when you're sleeping and you're dead to the world and that's what i need to do more downtime that's why I, well, I can do it when i go on holiday that's a space where i can i feel like i'm now allowed to switch off it would be nice to tap into that more regularly yeah i think because so. otherwise i go crazy yeah like i am crazy you're crazy yeah <sighs> Start boxing again. Oh, good. Okay. I used to box a lot. I think that would yep. help a lot with my um, anger. Yeah. <laughs> Invest. I've got to start investing money. It's been written on my whiteboard for so long. Get on the stocks. No, because I. Yeah, because. A little bit of crypto. Babe, these girls are right. Why are you saving money and letting it sit in your bank account and depreciating it in value? No, it earns so much interest. In your savers account, mine earns about one pound ninety two a month, babe. I must start doing that. Really, I have to. Put start it somewhere. It. Put it somewhere and like just leave it. Yeah. If you save. Got nicer. Yeah, I do have nicer. Even if it's like. 50 50 quid a month. I would like to start doing the practice of it myself. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. a really good habit to get into. For sure. Saving money to invest it. Yeah. Rather than saving money to eventually then spend it. Yeah, Which good. is what we all do. We yeah. save it because we think, oh, in two months I might need that and then yeah. you can spend it. Yeah. And DJ, I've got to turn those fucking decks on. You must, no, babe, because no, that is a hobby that is by the wayside. Yeah, I must. So there's mine. And when are you going to do your first gig? Okay, I think I've changed my mindset. I don't no gig gigging. Anymore. Yeah, I don't want to do it for joy. And that's another thing that I do. Take away the pressure. I do that with, that's what I mean. I do that with everything. Like I would do that with running. If I yeah. decided to run a marathon, running would become the most unenjoyable thing in my life. Yeah. If I put a goal on something, I would die on that hill. I will not <laughs> not reach that goal. So if I don't do that, then I just take all the pressure off myself. Yeah, you've got to you know? give yourself some grace and you've got to do it now. Nicely, right. gently. Right. Very good. What about you? Okay. Well, that's the wrong side of my phone. Who would know? The first one is to run a half marathon. Yep. Just more because I have a real mental block with certain things, and running for me is one of them. I had it with exercise, and I kind of pushed through it because I started doing weights and obviously with spin, but running is really mentally challenging for me, and it takes me to really dark places. So I think it would be Why good for that? me to. I don't know. I just think I can't do it for some reason. And if you can walk, you can run. So I don't know. I 
wrong with me. I actually don't agree with that. I really you can't not agree with that. That's a fact. I no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with if you can't walk, if you can walk you can run. Yeah. Theoretically, of course. Yes. yes. But I do think yeah. that some people like yeah, I like to run, I'm not running 20k. No, some but I'm not trying to do it run. timed. I'm not trying to do it. I think we tell ourselves so often that oh I'm not built for that. Oh I'm not a uh, long distance. Okay. Oh I'm not X, okay. I'm not Y. And I think you can be in your own I, it might take me 10 hours to run a half marathon. Okay, okay. I might walk it. Like, do you know what I mean? I just think you can, you can. Basically, it's to get yourself out of the head box. You can be your form of running. I don't need to look like yeah. Paula Abdul. Sure, sure. Paula <laughs> Radcliffe. <laughs> Yeah, Paula Radcliffe. Don't need to look like Paula Abdul on, you know, as she judges the X Factor, no problem. No, no, no problem. Learn to say no the first time. Give me an example. I'm very good at knowing I would probably like to say no, but saying yes. Like last night. And dinner. then saying no. Like last night. You didn't say yes, but you didn't reply. No, but that, you're safe because I didn't even agree. With most people, I would go, oh. yeah, of course I can do dinner on Thursday, knowing that actually Thursday, one more Thursday, I wake up at five, so I'll probably be really tired and then I'm going to yeah, be on Friday. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not on me, because you would just say no to me but yeah. most people that's a great I example. say yes yeah and then and then I have to backtrack which is worse I think yeah I agree so I just need to get really good at being like no I can't do that no that's overstressed or even like anything like even with the work party I knew I didn't want to go I knew it wasn't mandatory and I knew I didn't want to go and I was umming and ahhing and I didn't just say no I'm not coming to Bristol that day what did you say I just kind of went oh well I might have something yeah okay okay just say what you mean okay no that was my no. Okay. That's a hard thing to do, actually. That's a hard thing to train yourself out of. Yeah, because it's people-pleasing tendencies. Yeah. And I'm so bad at it. Like, I'm try I am trying, and I have got better. Like, I do a lot less, and I spread myself a lot less thinly. A good way to do it is to practice. Yeah. Like, that actually, yes, it, I know you didn't, like, uh, whatever. Yeah. But for me, if you're like, <coughs> no. Yeah. That's no, a thank good you. Yeah, so just good practice straight off the bat. <coughs> as soon as I asked that, you probably thought, oh, fuck that, I don't want to do that. Do no, I didn't. I no, didn't. No, no, because you felt <laughs> shit, and you knew you were, were going to wake up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so just, yeah. Like, practice on people that you know aren't gonna give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, 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 and saying no, no yeah. I wouldn't like to yeah. do that. Cause it's in there, the voice. I just don't know why she doesn't come out exactly. and say anything. Exactly. It's so bizarre. She's a muscle, you, as I say, that's the same it's a thing as, as not giving a fuck what people think. It's yeah. exactly, some from yeah. the same place, it's a muscle. Yeah. And then I'd like to prioritize achieving goals with work. Okay. As in like, I think we have got a bit of momentum, girls. Yeah, and I think momentum rolls when you roll with it. This is the thing, I have so many intentions for us work that are work related, but they're not resolutions because- No, I suppose it's not, well, it is a kind of a resolution for me in that like having like gone through the breakup and everything, I'm just like, okay, well, if it's all gonna be for something, it's for prioritization yeah. of achieving those goals. So then to me, I feel a bit like that's a resolution. Okay, I like I, I hope to prioritize that and to do above and beyond that I have the time to do now. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I'd like to get a job, like a job that. <laughs> <laughs> I lose my job in February, and I'd like to figure out the next step. Yeah, what that is and how that looks, and and to make it one that like really works for me. Read more books and write more. I need to write more. I love it, and I never. I only do it when I'm really in the pits, and I need to do it when I'm out of the pits too, so it's not so wallowy. I think that's it. What else? That's pretty good. I think that's it. No silly stuff, like no like. Keep that out. No. Forget that. Fuck that. Oh god, I've got to pass my PT course. That's not a resolution, babe. That's just a, like a tick box it's exercise. To-do list. <sighs> With work and with all of it, there's always stuff that you're gonna not want to do. But if you can, like, for the best of your ability, make sure that, like, you enjoy every day. Like, what a dream. Big year. I have a very good feeling about this. Do year. you? I feel a bit, like, apprehensive. I think that's because you're in an apprehensive state, though. I'm just I'm a bit not. untethered, I yeah, suppose. unanchored at the moment. I feel like a little helium balloon that's just yeah. been let off. Yeah. I really do think... Can I tell you why? Mm. I've actually never told anyone this. Oh my god, what? Because I don't want to jinx it. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Oh my god, maybe you shouldn't say it. I, maybe I shouldn't say it. I don't want to jinx it. No, you can't jinx what's laid in front of you. True. You can't jinx the path that's already written. The bricks True. are laid. There's no jinxing there. I really feel like this year has been a, a year that we've laid very strong foundation. Yeah, it's been wild. Like, when you think about where we were this time no, last it's, year... It's actually unbelievable. It's mind blowing. Like, everything is different. Like, I woke up on New Year's Day with Colin. I was still at the BBC, but I wasn't a spin instructor we were we doing our show no babe we started this no our show we yes. had we given yeah. it up no, 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 we, no, were. no we were we were still doing our radio show yeah we were still doing our radio show everything was different 
babe, our whole life was different. That's Crazy. why I was thinking about moaning, because I just thought, what are we moaning for? You're so... You never you never look backwards. What are we moaning for? We would have killed to be in this position last year. Killed. Killed! And now we're moaning that we have to... We've got management! Yeah, and now we're moaning that we and have to And people watch our videos! Right, right. I was listening to Alan Carr, and he was like, whenever I moan, my mum goes, yeah, go back to working in the chippy because you were happy then. So fucking true. In the grand scheme of your... No, I'm not even talking about the perspective of the world, of your, your life. life. You would have given an arm to be where you are today. You yeah, know. yeah. And you would have been so proud and you wouldn't have been like, that's not enough. Do better, do yeah. more. I don't want to do this. I find this annoying or whatever it is. Or, yeah. You know, I yeah. just think we have to really remember it. No, you're so right. That is actually a really good awakening for me. And, you know, that saying that nothing changes day by day, but when you look back, everything is different couldn't be more true. Because it does. <sighs> because in the everyday, it feels like you're climbing up fucking mountain it's one foot in front of you and it's, it's hard and also it's repetitive and it feels like the hamster wheel and you're like when do i get off when does it stop but actually but actually why do we want to get off it has moved yeah you've made progress you're not on a wheel like you're you're moving forward yeah so i just think it's really it really made me think maybe that's what we need to do not conscious checks we need to do gratitude checks every day progress checks but it's also gratitude for yourself because like the only people that got us here babe are ourselves mm -hmm. you know i mean we say this all the time we never get not and the like, galleys we're here amazing yeah but we don't we never give ourselves enough credit, mm. babe. We just we sat here and we decided to do this, and we just made it up as we went along. And now look, it's it's, it's actually if you think about it, it's quite mind blowing. <laughs> it is. It's no. so stupid. What the hell are we doing here? Why it's do people so watch us? So stupid. What do you think? And people think we know. Okay, this is one thing I will say. People have got to pretend, stop pretending like we know what we're talking about. Because guys, we haven't got a fucking clue. We chat. Air. None of it's real. I don't know what we say. I just did a snot rocket. Are you mad? And you're asking me for advice? Yeah, I, I know. I, 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 I literally be sick out my nose. And you want me to answer your question? I always wear, like, always, always will. Message me all the time. No, we love it. But I don't know the answer. Ever. No, it's big things and I'm excited. Big and things. I think it's good to have, like... And I just think, imagine... <coughs> okay, if we're talking about last year, imagine what we'll be saying about it this time next, next year. Because I actually do think that it will have, our lives will have significantly changed. Do you think we'll still be in the Audi in hands? We've really gone off him. Yeah, because I just think we need space. Also, having a guest in here <laughs> is... <laughs> so... I just think we need space. No, because no, yeah, it's impossible. Oh, I didn't think about that. Impossible. How are we going to have, you know, Chris Jenner in the back of this? Absolutely no Well, way. Chris Jenner needs to be humbled. Maybe it's good for her. Even in Meryl, she'd be humbled, babe. She's driving a Rolls Royce every day. Good point. She got in here, she'd be like, what is this trash can? Why are you sitting in a rubbish bin? She'd be like, where do I put my legs? Yeah, basically. No, we can't do that. She's also old. She can't bend down that low. She's so old. Listen, I am all, we were saying this the other day, I am all for getting the Botox up to your eyeballs. Do whatever the hell you want but don't start too late because that's the difference between Cher and Kris Jenner yeah. I mean Cher looks wild because it, she just defies the laws of gravity <laughs> like she looks good for some reason but she's so old that she also looks mental oh, no. because she shouldn't look that good I like that though very good I can, you all look like Cher I don't know how old she is that's what I like about it she's 74 Two or Whereas Chris Jenner, you can tell she's old pump full of filler. But Cher, yeah. I genuinely don't think that you can tell. Cher her could age. be fifty. Totally, a hundred percent. In those little little boots. Oh, she's so fucking cool. Any other resolutions? That's it, really, just to live, laugh, laugh, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you how often you wash your bra. I mean, you know, oh my god, almost never. Some bras I didn't think I've ever washed. I put one. I put my Skims on in the other day, and I thought, well, that's weird. Bro, Do you know what I don't wash? My sheets. Okay. I'm so bad at washing my sheets. Why? Because the whole of Vlogmas, there has not been a single sheet change. That's why you've got ringworm. There hasn't been a sheet change. I'm heartbroken, babe. Sorry, listen, I've given you a lot of slack. No emails, <laughs> moaning, doesn't want to be an influencer, all the bullshit. When can I have my gifts? The one thing I will not allow is for you to rot in a fungal fucking bacteria infested bed. I hate bed. a clean bed. Why? It makes me feel like this. That's how a dirty, uh, the other day, Raw was like, it's only been a week. And I was like, I swear to God, I would not I would rather sleep on the sofa. Yeah, but you're shagging. It's different. No, babe, we're not shagging. Sorry, you've got that really wrong. <laughs> we are not shagging. You are, you are shagging. No, you're having not. a good time no, at the not. moment. Mm -hmm. We're having a good time. Very friendly. <laughs> we're like friends. We're like best friends. Babe, don't lie, you're shagging. Once. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I've got shit to do. I know, babe. But sometimes it's relaxing. No, get out of your head. Get into your uni. Love you, love you. Miss Hippie Dippy, oh, drop I down. Love you, 
on. No, babe, I, you're too busy. You must drop you, into your why farming. Why are you trying to force me to be a sex fiend? I will never be a sex fiend. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I'm bad at washing is my sheets. I need to get better at that. I know it's been too long. Put that on your resolutions, babe. What is it? Every two weeks is Right, I've got, okay, can we do resolutions for each other? Because I've got three for you. Go on then. Vitamins. Fine. No, I'm actually serious. If I, if you are sick, I, I will give you till the end of March. If you get sick more than once, I will send you to a fucking <laughs> vitamin rehab, babe. I swear to God. Okay. Okay, number one. Number two, sheet change. If Every you, two weeks. Every two weeks. Add a push. Okay. And also, babe, you've only got a double and you've all got two pillows on there. It's not going to take you three I've hours. I've got five pillows. You don't need to change them all. I think you just need to change the sheet. The top two. The, pillow that you, the two pillows that you sleep on on the duvet cover. That's a 20 minute job. You can do that. What are you doing? Fucking plaiting your pubes. No, don't do that. And I'm actually getting my pubes waxed tomorrow. Why are you doing that? Well, just because they're getting really out of hand. And I think just because I'm single, I shouldn't just okay, let myself fine. turn into a bush woman. Fine. And the third one is shower. For longer. I shower every day. That's not true. I didn't shower Look today. Look in that camera. I didn't shower today. And she but I have an exercise. And you won't shower this evening. Why would I? I haven't done anything. Right. You've got a smelly minge. I haven't. Can I tell you? I haven't. I've got a lovely minge. <laughs> oh, my lovely minge. She's got a smelly minge. You've got a snotty nose. That's one option is to shower more. Or it makes me cold. When you get in the shower, you've got to stay in there for longer than 15 seconds. No. It's not right. It's, it's in a f I've got things to do. Like what? Change your sheets. Okay, Anymore? here's your resolutions. Okay. Don't be late. That'll be the first one. <laughs> Don't be late. Don't be late. Okay, how about we reduce the late window? Yes, 15 minutes. Okay, fine. Max. Fine. Not half an hour. Fine, yep, fine, I can do that. Number two, de-stress better. Manage your stress better and your anger. <laughs> what, so that you don't get it? No, I don't mind you get it. So you go 10-10. Babe, sorry, that's not a resolution. That's going to be a lifelong thing. Get used to it. Okay. That's all I've got for you. If you would prefer that I didn't, I didn't use you. Start eating your protein again. You okay. You must start eating your protein again. Do you want me to stop slagging me off? Slagging me off. No, I like it. Okay. I'm just chilling. She couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's so funny. <laughs> you should see me when I get really angry. I'm like, no. Rah, 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 and she's just like, yeah, whatever. She couldn't give a fuck. I'm just, I'm just going to fuse this for a second here. Uh, oh, what just, about, what about just... this? Have you thought about this? And then she's like, no, babe, you fucking haven't thought about that. And I'm like, interesting. Well, maybe if it's bothering you that much. And no, no, it's not bothering me. That's the good, that's the technique I've found out with you. Oh, stay calm. No, like, oh, well, if it's really bothering you that much, well, if you're really feeling that concerned, well, I'm not that concerned. <laughs> Then you bring yourself off the ledge. And I think, brilliant. It's not. You just need to let it out, don't you, babe? No, I know. But that's why you and Raw are really the people in my life that get it. So I just think, fucking... No, Raw's better than me. My God, he's good with you. Honestly, he does. I know I bum him all the time, but he does deserve <sighs> yeah, he a does. fucking no, he medal. he does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> but both of them as well, they just start laughing at me. And I think, you're not taking me seriously! Both of them. He goes, and she does. Oh, it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. You're the <laughs> Babe, do you know why it is? Because in those moments, and I hate to say this I look to like you, a five-year-old, I know. Yeah, you look two years old. And it's, it is funny because you're a fully grown woman. <laughs> And I just look at you and I think, brilliant. Hilarious. It's hilarious. It is funny. I, I love know, you. I know it's And funny. I love when you do it. Because I think... <laughs> it really... I do love it. Because you, in that moment... <laughs> You really mean everything you're saying, but what you're saying is fucking ridiculous. If I recorded it and played it back to you, you'd be like, well, obviously I don't think that, that's so dramatic. And you would just like, it's really good. She has a tant, it's a tantrum. Really, that's exactly it. And Raw and I do laugh. Yeah. And I find it really funny with Frilly. What, when I have a tantrum? Well, because they well, give you air time and I think, girls, relax, she's only joking. Yeah, She'll come yeah, back yeah, down yeah, to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give yeah, her, like the other don't day. give her any yeah. wedge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Don't you're rubbing it. Don't give oxygen to breathe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Let her have it. Little giggle. Let her shout at you again. Then she's over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. I love, I love it. I love to watch nice. it. Well, it's not going to change, so I'm glad you love it, because it's going to be, that's going to be me my whole life. The problem is, actually, what happens <laughs> is, if, if I keep it in, it will come out in another way. Yeah, and that's, and that's why you get pass aggy. Yeah, oh, that's worse. And I can be really bitchy when I'm pass aggy. I like it when you blow. Yeah, it's fine. It's hilarious. hilarious. It's, really, it's not it's mean, hilarious. it's funny. Like the other day. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was really good. That I wasn't even that. a 10-10. The, the time when I shouted to you about that you told me I wasn't eating enough or whatever the fuck it was when yeah. we around the dinner table. And then yeah, that was good, wasn't it? We went 10-10 and Raw and I found okay. it really funny yeah. and then she had to leave the room and come back in. <laughs> she needed to get put in the fucking naughty corner. Yeah, basically. Raw is so good to watch. Like, he's like a dog trainer with a puppy that's like yapping and biting. Yes! He's so calm. Yeah. But this is the thing, when people behave like adults in this situation, I find it so fucking annoying. He'll be like, when you've stopped having a tantrum, let me know when you're ready to have a conversation. I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready now! 
talk to me right now! And he's like, not with that attitude. Yeah, yeah. Alexandra, I won't be talking but to you. But that is it with me. You just have to <coughs> play with me at my own stupid game. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really have that. Your anger is like, your anger is much more like deep seated though. Yeah, I suppose. And it comes it's... from like, you, your whole personality changes when you're angry. Yeah, mine's like frustration like and that. like, yeah, it's like that. It's bad. No, I don't like that about myself either. I think that's quite a it negative way to. It always gives off the vibe of like, I don't really want to be. Yeah. Like, well, I, it, I it's like, I need to be myself. alone. Yeah. yeah, and it's not very nice. I don't know how to fix that at all. Because well, it comes over my body yes yeah i'm like a different i've been hooded close yeah like this it's weird you're so weird and also it's like i could change a room the thing i've learned with you is that you go over there and deal with your own yes, shit and then you yeah. come back when you're ready always says that she goes i just leave the house jesus christ just okay. so you go yeah, and deal with your own shit and then when you're ready yeah and then i come back and also actually my anger once that's gone it dissipates very quickly into sadness i'm just a sad being really yeah. more than anything what a complicated pair. The good thing is- To the loony bin! No, but to the glue factory! <laughs> the good thing is, I'll tell yeah. you the good thing. That my hands are feeling quite soft. That's number one. What were you gonna say? At least we know how to navigate each other. Yes, well it's very good, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Because we don't come with roadmaps, you've got to figure it out. Use That's the manuals. That's one thing I will say that I think we've done really, really well. Okay, things that we think we've done well this year on. I think one thing that we really have done well is learn each other. Yeah, we've done really Inside well. Inside out. Yeah. Know the ups and downs, anticipate that like when it's coming, when yeah, you're gonna get yeah, a punching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've juggled really well. Yeah, I think we've juggled really Juggled well. each other and juggled the jobs. We've supported each other we really supported well. each other really well. Really well. Really well. We're a really, I don't mean this like in a, in a conceited way. We are, we work as a really efficient team. Yes. And I think that that's not a given. No. At all. Well, even it wasn't in the beginning, we had to work at that either. Exactly, true. What could we improve on? Nothing, we're absolutely epic. The only time you know when to improve is by like failing or having challenges that you it. need to work at. So now it's like this year is all about for us training wheels. Like, let's do it. Let's make the mistakes. Yeah. Let's fuck up. Yeah, let's yeah, learn. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. And then get better. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers Happy New Year. Set your resolutions. Why not? Write a list. Oh, put them in the comments. Yeah. Tell us your New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Go oh my babe. God. Yeah. Engagement. What an idea.